What's up YouTube? I was thinking of making a PV tier list for all kinds of PV at the same time, but the modes are quite different from one another, so this will be just for PvE Guild Lab tier list. In C tier, I have put units that will never see play, neither AoE, neither ST Guild Lab. In B tier, it's units that can be useful, but aren't really going to do anything endgame wise, so you are most probably going to be using them only if you are an early player in Guild Lab. I guess this is kind of wrong, I should move it up here. Because she can still see play if Poison Comp starts to pop off again. In A tier, it's units that are half potential, but again, end game, they are outclassed by everything from the higher tiers. S tier, it's units that can do a lot of damage, but they don't have. They, are, they either don't have a specific comp that makes them fulfill their entire potential, or they do, but they can't compete with the ones in higher tiers. You might be noticing Poo here, well, she could be a higher tier, but again, it's quite difficult to make her work, because you, because it requires your main DPS to die and you to stack up cards, so it's... I think that S tier is proper for her. SS tier are units, for example, Idol and Yuri, who have defense break, and are overall really great for their potential teams. Idol for light teams, Yuri for dark teams, KD because he just outputs a good amount of DPS. I Samurai because if we get a good bleed comp, he will pop off, but for now he's just sitting there unused. Q because of his numerous buffs, he can give you a 50% attack buff, his suit 2 also gives attack buff, and his C3 even refunds mana, so you can cycle cards faster. Which Mira? I was wondering if I should put her at triple SS, S, but it feels like the fact that she explodes the poisons makes it so she isn't worth it. Quarion, everybody knows Fire Lab, how she helps a lot if you do it properly. I didn't put her triple S, even though she even applies burns, because it's just a bother to make a comp around her, so if you enjoy your sanity, you're most probably not going to run Huarion Hwa comp. Although if you enjoy your sanity, you are probably not doing guild lap anyways, but uh, that's another question. And finally, triple S tier are units that can either be your DPS carry, the one who deal the entire damage. They can be God Killer Zero, who's just insane in every kind of mode. Bamipu with the insane passive for fire units. Toruma with the insane passive for light units, as well as her actual damage from C3. Ash, if there's a nice comp, she will definitely be in it. Hots as well for light comp, she's a must bring. GBH for fire comp because of the amount of burns she can do in both ST and AoE, C2 and C3. The one, some of you might disagree with this, but her C3 is basically a better Wamira, which Mira C3, as well as her C2 giving buffs. The only problem is that her poison output is made more for an ST environment. So I could argue, you could argue that she's double S, but I feel like she deserves triple S. And Ophelia, her DPS buff is quite insane, so if there is ever a dark meta, she will be in it. And again, I want to clarify, this list isn't about the strongest guild lab comps, it's the strongest individual units. Like units that are worth investing for in case of future characters that can make their potential blossom. Or just units who are actually insane. For a guild lab tier list, I guess it would have been better to make it uh, an actual team tier list. But I guess we'll leave that for another time. I hope this helped and see ya.